Oh, right, so you saved up your allowance for the past five years and you finally managed to buy a clapped out 500 year old lathe. She's a little loose in the hips and likely cut parts for the Third Reich, but now she's yours. Now you want to build awesome machines and mechanical devices, but wait, what's that? How do you transfer torque between shafts and pulleys? Keyways. Right. No way you can ask your wife's boyfriend for money again, so we have to use the lathe for this. But how to make a translation -y thingy in a spinny thingy? Let's get into it. Alright, first things first, we need a heavy gauge angle bracket. Don't have any of those, but I have press and I have garbage. Test it off camera. Whoa, that's way too much work. Let's just send it, silly. Alright, well the bolt hits the metal and it's all kind of floppy, but whatever. It bends stuff. Squints a little and it's 90. Next we need to create something which the multifix can hold. Ideally a large plate, some cylinder to fit into one of the prism multifix holders. So here's our setup. We need to weld our angle bracket to the plate, which is already fixed in the multifix holder here, and the center line of the chuck. I clamped this piece of brass into the chuck on one end, and propped it up with the live center at the other. Drive the cross slide into the angle bracket, and pinch it between the plate and the work, so it's in the center line of the chuck. Then tack it on right on the lathe. Finish up the weld somewhere else, because burning lathe juices are not nice to breathe. All right, so check this out. We've got our wonderful construction here mounted in the multifix, which is centered on the axis of the spindle here. This is the piece that we want to mill the slot into. So I've threaded, it just happens to be threaded inside this piece. So it makes it easy to hold it. I put a piece of all thread inside, clamp it down with these guys. And now I've indicated, I did it off camera, but I indicated the top surface here that it's running flat when I uh, translate in this axis and that this surface is also running true to the end of the end mill here. Um, as you can see, I've already tried it. It is working. It's not chattering. It's not doing anything weird. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this cut. Uh, I don't know how deep I can go yet, but this is six mil end mill and they tend to fuck off really easily. So... I'm going to take it easy on it. It was getting a little bit hot to the middle here, so it probably needs some cooling. So let's go ahead and finish this cut. Well, there you go. The impossible made into the possible. Impossible or something like that. Uh, first run here, clearly not perfect. The slot, I think, is a little bit off center this way, but you get the idea. It's possible to set this all up so it's perfect and will cut you a nice slot in your little part here anyway something like that basically the concept works there it is i got a couple more of these to make um what this is for you'll probably see later already shall we